Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. Today we're going to talk about energy pools because I see a lot of misunderstanding between low pressure energy and middle and high frequency energy. And I think if we step back a little bit, look, you know, take a kind of a pull the top off the room, the ceiling off the room, and look down. And what do we have? You know, it's just a container of energy. The room is just a box of energy. That's really what it is. And in that box of energy is all kinds of distortions. And what are, what are we trying to do? Minimize them so we hear more music, right? So low frequency pressure, reflections, or mids and highs. Pressure waves oscillate throughout the room from all the wall surfaces. This is why you cannot hide or position your way out of these modal issues. You may move out of one here, maybe move from there to there, but then you got to deal with that one. You may move from this one to that one, but then you got to deal with boundary surface issues. So you really can't get away from it. it it's an impossible thing. I know that you, you read some of the things, well, move your chair here. How can you? It's a minefield. How are you going to get away from that? Treating the corners is no solution either. Look at the map. You know, when we measure modes back in the 90s when we were building rooms a lot, we're still building a lot of rooms, but not like we did back then. And it's amazing. We, we used to measure our rooms with 18 microphones. We place them every three feet. And you can imagine the interface we had to have. Well, back then we had to create it. And then the processing speeds and computers were so slow that we'd put the data in and go to lunch. <laughs> Come back, then we'd have the results. But we found that modes are, you know, every 36 inches, 24 inches in some cases. So you're not going to hide from them. Floor to ceiling, sidewalls, sidewalls, front to rear, you're going to have all kinds of pressure. We know modal pressure exaggerates and attenuates. You hear too much, or you don't hear any at all. We don't want any of that for low frequency or in our rooms, for critical listening rooms. So we're going to hear too much, not enough. No energy balance in the room, and we got to have that energy balance. Must have pressure balance throughout the room. So we have to keep all of that stuff going, knowing that it's going, and then treat. That's why when we treat, we treat all the boundary surface areas. People are like, well, you need a lot of treatment. Well, you need a lot of treatment because you got a lot of problems. You don't want to put in treatment, get rid of the room. Unfortunately, the only way to make the room sound better is to make it smaller with treatment. And we have the world's most powerful treatment. And we still need 12 inches, some cases 16 inches of wall space. And you can see why in, the, in that diagram there. So we got to get energy balance. We must have pressure balance throughout the room. And the only way to achieve that is treating the four walls, floor or ceiling. Sometimes you have to treat both floor and ceiling depending upon the frequency and depending upon the strength or the amplitude of the issue. And that all depends on the distance of the ceiling. We build new rooms we like 13 to 15 feet. Most of you can't do that. We get it. But that doesn't stop the ideal from being the ideal. It's because you can't do it. A lot of people can and do do it and are overjoyed with the results. The difference to listening in an 8-foot ceiling versus a 13, you won't believe it. It's unbelievable. Two things will happen when you, when you go to that different ceiling height. You'll have regret. You didn't do it sooner, and you'll never change back to a lower ceiling height again. Happens all the time. We hear about it all the time. So we got to treat the four walls, floor, or ceiling, depending on pressure. Energy pools must be treated equally, so we have to get a nice, even balance throughout the room, and our carbon technology does that. So look, I want you to go. We don't want any hot spots or, or puddles, as we say. Go to the project section of our website. I think it's project number 30, the CAW, and watch that video. That's our carbon technology installed between the studs. That's how we manage rooms. That's how we get a pressure balance. That's how we get a smooth frequency response in the low end. So watch uh, project 30 in the project section. That's their CAW, and that'll show you how we do it. We turn the wall into a diaphragmatic absorber. It's the same technology in our freestanding units, only built into a wall. You don't have a lot of big boxes sitting around in the room. Much better if you can do it. If you have an existing room, you have to go to freestanding units most of the time.
Energy pools, the room's full of them. Hope this helps. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video, and if you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. We also have a newsletter that you can subscribe to, so please do that because we offer special price discounts to only those on our newsletter. And then don't forget about our forum. We have started a forum on our own website where people ask questions and I usually get a chance every couple of days to look at it. There's an interchange between people on the forum and we'll give you real answers uh, on a regular basis. So that'll help you. Thank you.